Hi, it's Hannah from the Better Business Network and today I'm going to give you seven ways you can be more sustainable in the workplace. These are examples and ideas that work across most industries and sectors, so I'm sure you'll find at least two or three of these useful for your own work. So number one is if you travel into work, if you commute, then how can you do that in a more sustainable way? So think about encouraging your staff and your team to either cycle into work, use public transport, or maybe get an electric car. If you own your building, it'd be about getting electric car points. If you don't have a cycle to work scheme, it's about installing one. And for those people that are that you're trying to encourage to commute rather than take the car, why don't, you, why don't you offer more flexible working hours so it's easier for them to be able to do that? Another option is car sharing as well. So the first thing, even before you get into the office, is thinking about how can you make your commute even more sustainable. The second thing you can do is, depending on what your business is, is think about who are your clients or your customers. Now, to have a purpose-driven business, you need to be useful. So who are you working with to make that happen? And what are you providing to make that happen? So if you're a B2B business um, like us at the Better Business Network, it's about making sure your clients are purpose-driven as well. It's so important to make that happen. And also making sure you're encouraging your customers to be purpose-driven as well. So thinking about your clients and who you're working with as a business is super important to be more sustainable. The third thing you can do as a business, which should be relatively easy now, is to go paperless. We don't even have a printer in our office here at the Better Business Network. It's so easy to go paperless. Now, I know many people like me like writing pen to paper when they're putting out creative thoughts or organising their to-do list. I'd encourage you to try potentially some online versions like Trello, Asana or Notion or if you really love just working pen to paper, make sure you're using stationery that is sustainable or recyclable. There's so many good options out there and it's just a very simple way to make that sustainable change. So go paperless if you can, and if you can't, make sure you're making sustainable choices when it comes to the products, office products that you're using. The fourth one is something you all know and you've all got used to over the past few years, which is virtual meetings. So whether you're using Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, or Zoom, and is anyone still using Skype? I don't know. But whatever you're using, make sure you try and have virtual meetings rather than face-to-face. Not only does that save on your carbon footprint as a business, traveling place to place, it also will save you time as a company. So looking at when you can have a virtual meeting rather than an in-person meeting is a great way to be sustainable. There was also a research paper that came out, which I think was by Harvard, but Trey will double check that for me, which said that if you turn off your camera during a Zoom meeting, you reduce your carbon footprint of that Zoom meeting by 90%, which is crazy. So if you are having those virtual meetings, Do you have to have your camera on for the whole meeting? And if you don't, then let people know your reason for turning the camera off. It's a super easy way to save electricity and to be more sustainable, and also means you can wear your pajamas in meetings too, but that's up to you. So whether you're going into an office or you're working at home, my fifth suggestion will cover you both. What are you eating for your lunch? So bringing a packed lunch in is a really sustainable way and eco-friendly and budget-friendly. The reason for this is many people would get a meal deal at lunchtime, but there's so much plastic and single-use waste that goes into those meals. In fact, if everybody in your office stopped buying a meal deal and started bringing in packed lunch, think about how much you could reduce your waste as a business. So think about where are you buying your lunch from as well. If packed lunch isn't an option for everybody on your team, Perhaps they could think about buying their lunch from independent or local suppliers. That way you're having social impact with the way in which you're buying your products. Rather than go to the supermarket or a well-known chain, why don't you seek out those businesses around your, your own company and support them? It's a great way for you to get involved with the local community and try some really tasty food. One of our favourite places to go to at our HQ is Go Falafel, which is a chain of gorgeous falafel salads started here in Manchester and also Foundation Coffee. It's right opposite our office. It's an independent coffee shop and it's delicious food and delicious coffee. So have a look at where 
where you have near you, which you can support, put your money where your sustainability is, or start to think about bringing in your own packed lunch one or two days a week to reduce the waste that you're creating. My sixth idea on how you can be more sustainable in the workplace is think about your suppliers. Now, when I talk about suppliers, the easy way to do this as a business owner is get your bank statement out and look at where you're spending your money as a business. Is there a way that you can change that to a more sustainable supplier? There's green and eco energy companies like Octopus that you can work with or Bulb. There's also great internet suppliers which are independently run in the UK and also B Corp. So Zen Internet's a great example of that. Your business banking can be done with Triodos, which is a ethical bank and it's fantastic and that's a great way for you to do your business banking. And there's also other ways in which you can change to more ethical or sustainable suppliers in your business. We've already talked about looking at stationery that's more sustainable. Perhaps you could also be buying that from an independent stationery shop in your area. If you're printing, if you do need to do printing within your business, are you using a sustainable or ethical printing supplier. There's a great one called B&B Press, which we've worked with before, which does some fantastic eco-friendly options. And also, just are you thinking about when you're making those choices about how you're spending your money as a business, not just about the cost of things, but actually the supply chain in which it comes from. So get out your bank statement, see where you're spending money as a business, and see if you can make small sustainable changes, whether it's your internet, your energy, or where you're buying your office supplies from. Another great thing to think about when it comes to that is e-waste. Most of us are using computers for work. Could you be buying a second-hand version? Music Magpie, Gift Gaff, there's quite a few resale sites online which are not only gonna save you money in your business, but they're also gonna provide you much more eco-friendly options because you're stopping those things going to landfill. E-waste is a huge issue. So when you're getting a new starter in your business, even whatever project you're working, they're working on, if they need new equipment, is that equipment you can either be hiring, buying secondhand before you go to buy something brand new. And finally, a really easy thing to do, which will cost you no money and pretty much no time, is making sure you turn off the lights and you turn off the plugs when you leave the office. Leaving your monitors on, plugged in at the wall, switched on is something people do all the time, which is just such a waste of energy. So make sure when you're leaving your office, all the plugs are turned off and you're turning off those office lights. Those are my seven sustainable workplace ideas. I hope you found them useful. If you've got any more to add, please leave them in the comments below. I love to hear all the cool ways and easy ways in which people are making those sustainable choices in their businesses. I've been Hannah from the Better Business Network and if you're looking for more videos about how you can have more impact in the work you do, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.